This video demonstrates transforming JSON content into various output formats using XSLT and XQuery processing. Specifically, we will show you examples where we obtain HTML output from JSON content using XSLT, and we obtain XML output from JSON content using XQuery. Note that you can transform JSON content into a myriad of other output formats as well. For the demonstration, we're using a sample project about weather data. This is our JSON document that contains data about the weather for various cities. And this is our XSLT file. For this example, we want to produce HTML output from our JSON document using the XSLT in the transformation process. For a bit of an explanation of our sample XSLT file, note that we have a template that matches the whole map of weather data. Then we flatten it as an array and it iterates through the weather data and then we retrieve the data to use locally. So we'll go back to the JSON document and we'll click the Configure Transformation Scenarios button. We'll choose to create a new transformation and we'll select JSON Transformation with XSLT. In the XSL URL field, we need to specify the path to our XSLT file. Then we'll go to the Output tab and for the Save As field, click the Variables button and we'll choose the current file name variable and give it the HTML file extension. We'll select the open in browser system application option and deselect the XML since we want HTML output. And after clicking OK, we'll apply the transformation scenario. And you can see that it generated our output in HTML format. You can also batch transform multiple documents. So we'll select three JSON files in the project view, right click, go to the transform submenu, and select configure transformation scenario. Then we need to select our scenario we created and apply it. And you can see that it generated our output in HTML format for all three files we selected. For the next example, we'll use this XQuery file and for this example, we want to produce XML output from our JSON document using the XQuery file in the transformation process. For an explanation of our XQuery file, we store the weather data from the map in a variable. Then we flatten it as an array and it iterates through the weather data. And then we use the data from the variable for our query. So we'll go back to the JSON document, click the Configure Transformation Scenario button, We'll deselect the previous scenario and create a new one. And this time we'll choose JSON transformation with XQuery. In the XQuery URL field, we need to specify the path to our XQuery file. Switching to the output tab, you see that for this type of transformation, there's a present as sequence option that will produce the output in a sequential mode. We'll click OK and apply the transformation. And in this case, it produced XML output in the results pane and presented the weather data sequentially. The XQuery transformation can also be done in bulk. So we'll select three JSON files, right click, go to transform, select configure transformation scenario, and select the scenario we created and apply it. And you can see that it produced XML output in the results pane with the tab for each file we transformed. Now we'll show some similar examples using a JSON array document. And this is the XSLT file. And for this example, we want to produce HTML output from our JSON array using the XSLT in the transformation. So we'll go back to the JSON array document Click the Configure Transformation Scenario button, click New, and we'll select JSON Transformation with XSLT. In the XSL URL field, we'll specify the path to our XSLT file. Then we'll go to the Output tab and click the Variables button for the Save As field. And we'll choose the current file name variable and give it the HTML file extension. We'll select the Open in Browser System Application option and deselect XML. And after clicking OK, we'll apply the transformation scenario. 
And again, you see that it generated our output in HTML format. JSON array documents can also be batch transformed. So we'll select three JSON array files, right click, go to transform, select configure transformation scenario, select the scenario we created and apply it. And it generated our output in HTML format for all three files we selected. For the next example, we'll use this xQuery file, and we want to produce XML output from our JSON array using the xQuery file in the transformation. So we'll go back to the JSON array document, click Configure Transformation Scenario, we'll deselect the previous scenario, create a new one, and this time we'll choose JSON transformation with xQuery. In the xQuery URL field, we'll specify the path to our xQuery file. Click OK and apply the transformation. And it generated XML output in the results pane. And again, this type of transformation can also be done in bulk. So we'll select three JSON array files. Right click, go to transform, select configure transformation scenario, select the scenario we created and apply it. And again, it produced the XML output in the results pane with a tab for each file we transformed. You can also transform the current JSON document using the XPath XQuery Builder view. We'll click the engine dropdown to show you that there are three editions of the Saxon XQuery JSON engine. We'll select one and click the play button and it generated XML output in the results pane. That concludes the demonstration about transforming JSON content. Thank you for watching. For more technical details, see the Transforming and Querying JSON Documents section in our user manual. That link is included in the description of the video.